Hi, it's me, Allison, vlogging. That's not my last name. My last name is Rosen, but I am vlogging. It is 10.56 on Sunday, but it feels like 11.56 if it was a week ago, but it's not. It's a week after it would have been if it felt like a week ago. You know what I mean? I, I don't think you do. Um, anyway... I just got back from the grocery store, but before that, I was at the studio and we were doing a podcast. Tim Griffin was the guest, and it was a good show. Um, I, I've talked before about the fact that sometimes after the weekend, I feel like sometimes we just jump or snap right back into it, and sometimes it's a little, it's a little more difficult. Um, here's the thing: I feel like. Sometimes Adam is sort of angry in like a funny, playful way. And then sometimes something is just pissing him off. And uh, I worry that it's me. Although tonight I don't think it was. Except that Bo... Oh no, Bo Pelini, is that his name? Nebraska's coach? I mentioned him in a story. There's a lot of sports talk tonight, and I uh, felt right at home. But is his name Bo Pelini? Well, let's say it is. So Bo Pelini, Adam said, that sounds like a cold cut. And I said, or a gelato. But then in my head, I was thinking, that is not yes and. I hope I don't get fired. Not really. I wasn't thinking I hope I don't get fired. But I was I was sitting there thinking, oh, crap. I hate these... these um, slight moments of forgetting the yes and edict. So, um, anyway, but not that, that makes it sound sort of like a tyrannical yes and environment. And it's really not, but it's just that I know that someone keeps track of those moments. Um, and it's me, but it's also Adam. What else to tell you? Um, those curtains back there, uh, I, I'm just trying to live with them for a little while, but I also bought similar ones in blue, and I might go with the blue ones. And I'm wondering, I have a question for you guys. I was going to tweet this, but I'll just ask. Has anyone had any luck with hypoallergenic cats? Because here's the thing. There's a cat that hangs out outside, and um, but it has a collar, so it belongs to someone. But every time I see it, I think, well, the first time I saw it, I thought, what are you doing here? And then the second time, I thought, you're still here. And then the third time, I thought, I wonder if I should give it milk. And then I thought, no. And plus, I only have almond milk, and I don't know if cats like that. And then the fourth time, as I was approaching my door, I thought, I wonder if the cat's out here. And then the fifth time, I thought, I want to make this cat my friend. And then the sixth time, I thought, maybe I should just get a cat. And the seventh time I thought, no, I would like to get a puppy. That was actually also the, the zero time and the negative four times. Because I'm a dog person. Because I'm allergic to cats. And my boyfriend is really allergic to cats. And, um, yeah, because see, Mike, I used to be, this, this is about to get very fascinating, so if you have something important to do, I'd do it right now. Um, I used to be very, very, very allergic. My best friend growing up had cats and I would just walk into that house and uh, my whole face would explode. It was as if inside there was a tiny voice that said, histamines, swarm. Um, but as I've gotten older, my allergies have really diminished. Although when I'm around cats, I don't actually play with them because I think of myself as someone who is allergic to cats. So I'm just around them. But then sometimes, you know, because cats know who's allergic, I think, or they just know who's playing hard to get. So then the cat will come and like rub against me and then the person who owns the cat will be like, you aren't allergic or anything, are you? And I'll say, oh, actually I am. And then I'll go wash everything. Um, but my point being, I but I can be in a house or I can be around cats and I'm okay. But I think that my boyfriend, unless he's just using this as an excuse, uh, which he's not, is more allergic. So anyway, that's why I need to get some kind of hypoallergenic cat or just some other sort of cute thing. On the podcast tonight, I announced my desire to bring a panda to term. So there you go. 
And I don't want a hairless cat. I'm just going to put that out there. That might be all I have to say, although I'm sure it's not. But for the time being, it is. This has been a return to the fairly useless blogs. Uh, but something of substance will be coming soon. Or will it? I don't know. I love you guys. Bye. I'm still here. I'm leaving now.